Hey everyone, welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So in this video, I want to kind of just do a casual talk and explain what is my favorite stack or what is my favorite layer of the stack, okay? So there's a lot that you can learn when it comes to programming and software engineering, and I wanted to kind of just give my opinion on which one I like and why. But before I dive into that topic, be sure to press the like button because it helps my video get promoted by the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're new to this channel, remember to press that subscribe button and bell icon because I'm going to have other videos like this I'm going to post in the future that should hopefully help you become a better software engineer or a web developer. And like always, leave a comment below if you have a favorite part of the stack that you enjoy doing. So I've been coding for almost 10 years now. I've been doing it for a long time. I've debugged a lot of issues. I've worked on various different projects, most of them being like smaller, medium size. And along the way, I have, you know, kind of started to enjoy a certain part of the whole stack, right? I consider myself a full stack developer right now. And if you don't know what that means, basically there's different parts of your application, you have your UI, which is like the front end. And then that UI kind of interacts with APIs, which are written in the back end. So if you're a back end engineer, you're probably dealing with APIs and databases, or maybe how to get those things deployed. And then in this day and age, you have someone called like a DevOps engineer who really understands how to take your applications, either their front end applications or your back end code and deploy them and have them auto scale and be manageable and make them kind of just work seamlessly, right? So out of all of those, I'm kind of leaning towards the DevOps engineer side of things because I'm really interested in like, how do you take a simple web API, but make sure that it's like resilient? How do you make sure that it can actually like scale horizontally when a bunch of users try to access your application? And I guess that's even considered like a different type of engineer. That's like a, kind of like a, a reliability engineer or something. I don't know, there's an actual term for it, but I'm just interested more on that stuff. Like, although I do enjoy front end coding, it gets really tedious like literally you typically if you take every site that's been built it kind of boils down to there's a form a user can enter or edit data and they click submit like yeah you can add cool animations you can make it flashy you can make stuff spin around but in all honesty that is the core of front-end engineering it's building out forms so that people users humans like me and you can actually input data and send that over to be used on the back end. So although I do enjoy front end engineering, it's probably my least favorite. Like I don't really enjoy CSS. I don't really enjoy like learning all these different frameworks and libraries. Like, okay, we started with Angular and then we went to like React, then Vue came out and then we have uh, Svelte that came out and now we have like Next.js and now there's a new one called Remix. It's like, I don't really care about all that hype. I just want to be able to build a project. And honestly, like, I would have been happy with Angular. Angular JS, I would have been happy if we just stuck with that, but just like we keep changing in the front end for some reason, there's no good reasons why we keep changing. And it's just kind of exhausting. So I'm not really big into front end engineering, although I can kind of hack my way at getting something cool created in React, which leads me to my kind of more favorite area of the stack, which is the back end. So I really enjoy working with APIs and REST APIs because there's a lot more that you can kind of do. And it usually involves a lot more like business critical logic, right? If your backend doesn't work or if it's storing data incorrectly, your entire application probably is going to fail, right? So that's why I think backend engineering is pretty cool because like, yeah, on the front end, if something breaks or something doesn't look nice, like the application should still work, right? If they can click that button and it does the logic that they want, that's cool. But in the backend, you need to make sure that, you know, your API can handle a ton of requests. What if you have 10,000 users try to hit your endpoint at the same time? You know, stuff can go down, stuff can crash. You can DDoS your own system on accident. And that's why I really like backend engineering. I just feel like there's a lot more that you can kind of um, learn. And it's like, you're not learning it just because there's a new hip framework that came out. You're learning it because it's actually like fundamental to the business rules and fundamental to your application working and surviving over the years. Um, the API is kind of core to the actual business logic and the application, but the front, on, the front ends and the clients can come and go. You can change them, easily swap them out. But as long as the API is there, your code should continue to work um, throughout the years, right? So that's one main reason I enjoy the backend. But again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm really interested in the DevOps side of things. So how do you take your APIs and your databases and all of these different things, and how do you deploy them automatically and scale them through like a CI CD pipeline? You probably heard the word CI CD where basically you do something like GitHub Actions or Circle CI to take your developer code. And when they commit that code, you have that automatically run on a server, you run tests over it, you run linting over it, and then you run your smoke tests, your integration tests, your um, 
your end-to-end -end tests, and finally, if everything is good, you maybe package a release and you get that deployed automatically to an environment. Okay, so that's the really fun stuff, in my opinion, is how do you actually create that entire pipeline to get stuff from the developers committing it all the way deployed to a you know a production environment where users can interact with it and actually use your application. And it's really interesting because that space has a ton of tooling around it as well that's coming out. Like obviously Docker is a huge one, but you have like Kubernetes, which I dabbled with for like three days, but it's it's huge. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, and then also you have like infrastructure as code tools like Terraform, you have serverless, there's like Amazon S, what's it called? Amazon um, CDK, I believe, code development kit. But all that stuff is really interesting to me. But honestly, the, the project model now, like most of the infrastructure has already been automated because I worked on a lot of that code. And most of the backend databases and the lambdas and the API gateway and all the things surrounding like the API and the database, like I've already automated all that stuff to get it deployed. So at this point, like, although DevOps is my favorite part of the stack, it's a kind of, I kind of like, uh, I'm stuck doing more front end and back end work at this point because most of that stuff has already been automated. But yeah, I just wanted to share some, uh, you know, personal preferences to you all, give my opinion about what is my favorite part of the stack. You know, full stack can encompass a lot of things front end, back end, DevOps. I'm sure there's a lot more other stuff out there, but that's what I'm enjoying right now. Um, so like always, be sure to give me a like if you enjoyed this little talk. If you want to hear more opinions from me, who's been working for almost 10 years in the industry, let me know. Also, be sure to press that subscribe button and bell icon if you want more videos like this in the future, where I'm kind of talking about software engineering and giving you my opinions on what I enjoy, what I don't like. And like always, be sure to leave a comment below. What is your favorite part of the stack? What do you enjoy doing? Do you like front end? Do you like back end? Do you like DevOps? Do you like something else I haven't mentioned? Maybe it's like AI or machine learning. That's really a big field as well. But yeah, let me know. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Like always, have a good day and happy coding.